The Atlanta treasure that is Beverly Guitar Watkins was born April 6th, 1939 in Atlanta, Georgia and began playing music as a child. At the age of 12, her family moved to Commerce, Georgia. After making her way back to Atlanta as a teen, she played bass for the band Billy Weststone and the Downbeats while in high school. In 1959, her junior year of high school, she was introduced to Piano Red, who had a daily radio show on WAOK, and she subsequently joined Piano Red and the Meter Tones, who played consistently in the Atlanta area at venues such as the Magnolia Ballroom and the Casino, before starting to tour throughout the Southeast, primarily at colleges. About that time, the group renamed itself Piano Red and the House Rockers and started touring nationally. The group had two successful singles, Dr. Feelgood and Right String But The Wrong Yo-Yo. After recording Dr. Feelgood, the group was known variously as Piano Red and the Interns, Dr. Feelgood and the Interns, and Dr. Feelgood, the Interns, and the Nurse, who by default was Beverly Watkins. The group also included Roy Lee Johnson, composer of Mr. Moonlight, later recorded by the Beatles, and Albert White. After the breakup of the band in 1965, Watkins played with Eddie Tigner and the Ink Spots, Joseph Smith and the Fendales, and then with Leroy Redding and the House Rockers until the late 1980s, where she became a permanent fixture at Underground Atlanta. During Beverly's long and continuous musical career, she worked with artists such as James Brown, B.B. King, and Ray Charles. However, like many Roots musicians, she found it difficult to crack the airwaves and achieved recognition much later in her career after the advent of the internet made it possible for musicians not backed by major labels to be heard by a wider audience. She was rediscovered by Music Maker Relief Foundation founder Tim Duffy, who started booking her in package shows. And in 1998, when Coco Taylor and Rory Block, as part of the All-Star Women of the Blues, Hot Mamas Tour. Her 1999 CD debut, Back in Business, earned a WC Handy Award nomination in 2000. Watkins has toured a number of times internationally since and has graced the stages of many national festivals while also releasing a number of albums all on the Music Maker record label. She has received numerous awards and commendations worldwide and has made appearances on Steve Harvey's Forever Young TV series and Harry Connick Jr.'s daytime television show while also gracing the cover of the highly regarded music publication Living Blues. The Georgia Music Archive Project proudly salutes Beverly Guitar Watkins for her contributions to and significant impact on Georgia music. This episode is part of an ongoing series dedicated to acknowledging individuals and entities that have made a significant contribution to music in the state of Georgia. The Georgia Music Archive Project at gmap.online